We all dream, and since giving my life to Jesus several years ago, I've had plenty of vivid dreams that I believe were from God. I've written them down, prayed about them, and actually seen God do some incredible miracles through them. Now, exactly three of these dreams have been about heaven, or more specifically, of me in heaven. They've all been slightly different, but also have similarities. Here is a detailed breakdown of those dreams. The first dream in early 2014 started with me in my kitchen and a knife was going through my stomach. I could see blood and it was there that I died. I was scared. I could feel my soul relax inside of me as I fell forward toward the ground, but I never hit the floor. Instead, I fell through a set of large double doors, twice my height, solid wood, as I looked to my left and my right, there were more double doors, countless in number, stretching further than the eye could see, and humans of all races and sizes would stumble through the doors just like I did, also looking slightly shocked. In front of us, there was a set of steps that led down to a courtyard or lobby type area, and as I stepped down, a lady was there to greet me. She was full of joy and purpose. She held a clipboard and she said to me, are you ready for your tour? She took me to a huge hall room, so large I couldn't see the far wall. The ceiling was as high as a stadium. Many people were busy preparing for something. They moved ladders around, blew up balloons and carried things around with great joy and great purpose. I noticed everything seemed familiar but also totally new. The balloons were shapes I couldn't describe, a table with drinks of glasses and vessels of new designs, colours I had not seen before. The drinks inside I had never tasted. Everything had lots of beautiful little details on. The celebration begins very soon and we are getting ready, she said. In the next room, there were tables and tables, long, long lines with more people busy working away. Some at computers, some with paper, some cutting. All the races and ages were there again with purpose and with joy preparing something. I asked the person nearest me, are you angels? And everyone nearby laughed and winked. They shook their heads, smiling. My tour guide then said to me, well, there's still more work to do and we aren't quite ready for you yet. You need to go back. And it was like I slid backwards up towards the door that I came through. I stumbled back through it and I was back on my kitchen floor. There were no wounds and it was then that I woke up. The second dream came about a year later. Again, I stumbled through a set of double doors, but this time I was on the top of a castle wall. And I remember I was running, running faster than I'd ever done on earth. And the castle was like embedded into a mountain face. And to the other side of me was a huge, vast plain of the earth. And I kept on running and I remember thinking, wow, this castle is a place of safety of security, it's a strong tower of righteousness. And I kept on running round this big castle wall. It was huge, gigantic, I couldn't see the end of it. And as I approached the next sort of tower turret on the castle wall, I ran into the double doors and again, I woke up. The third dream was in December 2018. I was climbing up a well or a pit it was deep and dark and roots were sticking out of the walls. I began passing memorabilia from my past until I climbed out of the blackness and into the light. I'm standing on rushing seas of clouds. They pour constantly in all directions like dry ice, but Niagara Falls, rushing, rushing clouds that pour down the pit and off to the sides of the gates of heaven. Angels of gold hovered in the skies all around, perfectly still above the rushing clouds, placed in perfect randomness with hands held upwards. All the angels suddenly zoomed into my body, shrinking as they entered my being, but they left their wings behind on my skin until my whole body is covered in small, fluttering angel wings. I walk confidently away from the clouds, away from the pit, and I am before the gates of heaven. As I step inside the gates, Jesus comes hurtling towards me at a hundred miles an hour in flight with arms outstretched. He grabs my arms and we're swinging round and round so fast above the rushing clouds until we enter a perfect unison dance. No floor, no walls. 
We hurtle around with no elements. He swings and throws and catches me. It's like a trapeze routine. No gravity or knowing which way is up or down. And then I woke up. Now you tell me, what do these dreams reveal? What do they mean? Do you think they're from God? <laughs>